what excites me about the future of technology. I'm really excited about totally getting rid of the devices, of the computers, and just communicating directly with human thought alone. I've done some work in this area, and I think it's actually closer than many people believe it is. My name's Mary Lou Jepson. I'm really known for my hardware design, and particularly screen and optics and 3D design. But I'm probably best known for co-founding One Laptop Per Child and architecting the $100 laptop. My first computer was an Apple II Plus. That came out when I was about 14 years old. Your smartphone is more powerful than that computer by far. But it was so cool because you could actually slide the cover off and you could figure it out by breaking stuff, putting it back together. Again, it was my parents' very expensive computer, so I wasn't really supposed to be touching it. But, you know, sometimes they weren't around. <laughs> My first line of code was hacking a version of Pong and changing the balls into smiley faces. And when I got that to happen, I was just so excited. I had no idea that I could change what was on the screen. And I probably changed total 10 lines of code. And all of a sudden I had changed the computer game. I mean, the eyeball was in the wrong place and then it was over there and I'm like, how do I move it over there? And they, it was fun. A friend of mine says, when you look at somebody's code, it's like looking at the inside of their head. <laughs> and sometimes it's a little scary how messy it is, and I'm not saying mine's that great. People think coding is this hard thing. Honestly, writing is harder, reading is harder. I think everybody should learn how to code. We used to use pencils and paper, and they're pretty powerful, but we have computers. And you can do so much more if you use the computers. If you learn how to write programs, what you can do is profound.